Oh my God, guys, the story is totally amazing that I can't even think of a title. It's so funny, yeah. What's up, guys? My name is Dave Wobble, and welcome to I.O. If you could buy a car, what kind of car would it be? Me, I'm breaking the questions rules already and I'm going with a Harley Davidson motorcycle. So let's hop all the way to China, specifically a place called Shangquim. Now this story features a man by the name of Fu. Now I know his name is spelled F-U, guys don't get any crazy ideas. So the story is about this guy who bought a car and to celebrate it, he launched a firework. The downside is he lit his new car on fire. Fu, he is age 44, he decided to buy a new minivan for his family. And I guess he was so excited that he decided to drive it home immediately where he decided, you know, I'm going to put on a fireworks display for my family. I guess he misaimed where the fireworks got to go because they fired at the car and immediately the whole thing engulfed in flames. I don't know about you guys, but I have fired a firework at a car before and it didn't blow up. What are these Chinese cars made out of? So the downside for Fu is he bought this minivan for about 49,000 yen, which if I'm going to use my brain, I can automatically transfer it. No help to a calculator equals $8,100. Oh yeah, done all up here. See, now the thing is, I mean, they tried to use a fire extinguisher on it, but unfortunately the fire got so big that, you know, it was uncontrolled and then the fire brigade had to show up. Did I just really call it the fire brigade? But anyway, the 1930s, the fire brigade. Good news. Thank God nobody was hurt during this whole, like, flame Rooney thing. Downside is though, Fu has to take complete responsibility because his insurance is not going to cover the fact that he blew up his own car. Either way guys, I'm glad no one was hurt. I mean, it is a terrible story, but I mean, ask yourself, is it kind of funny that you blow up your car with one firework? I mean, that's really bad luck. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side out there in the real world.